In this video, we're going to create some cross stitch and it's one of the features that's found with Artistic Suite and Artistic Premium software. Um, when you choose new and select the embroidery technique and say next and just choose a light colored background and here at the artwork source I need to choose an image to convert into cross stitch and so we'll click on this button here and I'm just browsing to my desktop where I've saved this BMP image of the rising sun artwork. It's just a simple sort of red and white colored artwork. And I'm going to say open. And then when I say next, it brings me to the option of what do you want to do with that artwork, the artwork image window. And so I can open it as a backdrop, trace it and convert it to outlines, open it as photo stitch. And in this case, we're going to choose open as cross stitch. And so when we say open as cross stitch, the next step is it basically analyzes the image that I've given it and it looks at the colors available and it looks like it wants to reduce it to 24 colors and so you can see here in fact it's not reducing it it's taken every shade of white and pink and every and red between red and white and every shade of pink in between and given them their own color which if you actually mouse over top of the colors here it'll even show you kind of the little what exactly is in that color and most of it is either white or red but there's some you know different shades of pink that probably fringe them right so what i can do now is use this color reduction slider to say well no i don't want to i don't even think i have 24 shades of red i'm just going to bring it down to be two red and white now it shows me what it's going to be in the white and it shows me what's going to be in the red. And if I don't like it, if I'm thinking, you know, some of these look awfully close to red, maybe I'd rather just drag them into the red group. In fact, maybe I'd like to drag them all and just leave it simply be the white. You know, it's really up to you and depending on the image you bring in, you know, you can make this kind of a choice here, what's in each color. Anyway, when you're done doing that and say finish, it will have converted the design into cross stitch. And if I just zoom in, you know, really closely here, you can probably see where some of the ones that, you know, I decided to have this red, but it could have been white. You know, that's if those were the squares that weren't red and they weren't white, but they were pixels in between. So anyway, pretty much those are the steps that are used to create a cross stitch design. So it's found under the file new design window and it's specifically when you choose an image with artistic suite software, we have that choice to select create cross stitch. Then it goes ahead and creates your design. We could do another one. Why not file new. Okay, so create new design, say next. Just give it a lighter colored fabric background doesn't really matter. Choose from artwork. And I think I have these hearts, this heart one. So it's the same kind of thing. It's going to be red and white, shades of red and white. So we'll say next. And then again, this is the stage where you get to choose open as cross stitch. And it's very much, we've already looked at open as photo stitch. This is another tool called open as cross stitch. And it takes us through the cross stitch wizard where it, again, it's looking at this design. It sees 64 shades and it's suggesting 48. And I'm thinking, who's got 48 shades of red? <laughs> you know, you could pick three or four or five even if you wanted to. And so you can see they're, they're all very similar. And look how when I mouse over that, it shows me what's going to be in that color and what's going to be in that color and what's going to be in that color. And I'm thinking, this is silly. Why not just make them all red, you know? But that would be your, you know, and maybe these are flowers and maybe having all of these um, in the same color would be nice. You can just use the slider to say, make it two, and it kind of sorts them out for you. And anyway, when you're happy with it and it's got the colors that you want and the colors places that you want um, and you've got the correct number that you would like you say finish and it's created the cross stitch design and you can see you know when you zoom in what it looks like so that is creating cross stitch with their artistic software